Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to part three of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. And we are picking up exactly where we left off last time. Okay, you guys, let me just tell you this right now. It is four o'clock in the morning. So if you hear any awkwardness, any drunkenness, please excuse me. This is the time of the night where I act weird. My brain is telling me two things. My brain is telling me to record and my brain is telling me to go to bed, but I'm going to record. So please, you know, accept my craziness and don't judge me. It's just part of who I am as a person. All right. But anyways, you guys, I think I might have fixed the thing uh, about the notifications popping up about all these Sims being unroutable. I think I might have fixed it. What I had to do was I had to delete this park because it was set as a festival lot and there were all these concession stand merchants all standing in a pile next to each other with nowhere to go. So I deleted that and the notifications seem to be gone all night long. So let's hope they don't pop up. I'm not saying that I fixed the problem, but I'm saying there's an 80% chance that I fixed the problem. But let's hope that, you know, we don't get any more of those notifications. He's getting up. We're going to have him go ahead and take an evil shower and use the restroom. Um, he can mop up the puddle. And the repairman did come around 8.30 in the morning while I was fast-forwarding it while they were sleeping before I begun the part. So we did clean it, and uh, he did repair it. Excuse me, not clean it. And we did pay him 50 simoleons. He's hungry, so we can go ahead and have some waffles because why will we spend six simoleons when we don't have to, you know? It just makes sense. So he's going to go ahead and use the restroom. He's going to mop up the puddles in the bathroom. I'm ready for the baby, you guys. I'm so, so ready. You guys don't even know how excited I am. He's going to go ahead and make some food this morning. Prepare some waffles. Oh, and the counter's dirty. Great. Crack those eggs. He wants to buy a high chair. Ooh. Oh, congratulations. Alexander has improved his cooking skill to level two. Alexander cannot prepare goopy, carbonara, and grilled cheese. Delicious. Awesome. So excited. All right, we're going to buy a high chair because he's requesting it. So let's see here. Um, let's go to furniture. And yes, we do have enough, thankfully. So we're going to put one of those down in there right here. And we're good to go. And he got that wish as well. We're already up at 6,200 points for him. So we're getting close to the 30,000. I need inheritance. I need money. And I need it now. All right, go ahead and clean that when you're finished making food. Oh, oh gosh, that wasn't too good. There you go. Awesome. He wants to work at home. Um, new. We do not have a computer, so that is not going to happen. He can go ahead and eat his waffles, and then when he's finished eating his waffles, he can work on... Mm, let's see. He does need athletic skills, so we're going to have him go ahead and do a strength workout. It's time for her to get up. It's 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Get on your phone call. Um, she can go ahead and finish reading the book, and she can actually, before you read your book, I want you to eat the rest. Actually, yeah, just read the book. It doesn't take you too long to read the book. So go ahead and read your book. <coughs> it does go up quite fast, actually. And I want you to do it. Don't break a sweat, because I don't want you to lose your hygiene. He wants to get married. Marry Scarlet. That's one of his wishes. So that's obviously one we're going to keep for a while. Not to take a class in the athletic skill, but we really don't have the money for that at the moment. Look at her. She's so pretty. Keep reading your book. She's halfway there. Almost there, almost there. Yes, she got it, you guys. She read her book. Now we're going to have her go ahead and eat her watermelon. Saw your book right away. We need to earn as much money from it as we can. Go ahead and eat another one. Another one. And one more. 
Let's hope we have a girl, you guys. Let's seriously hope we have a girl. I want to start with a girl. All right, go ahead and do all that stuff over here. Use the toilet. She really doesn't need a shower, so we're not going to have her shower. And we're going to have him go ahead and stop working out. And we're going to have them be romantic with each other because today they're going to go on a date. So we're going to have them hold hands with each other. Um, they can, um, you know, flirt with each other, flirtatious joke, all of that romantic stuff. Go ahead. And we're going to save the, the flowers for when we actually got on the date. So we're going to go ahead and kiss and then we're going to ask out on date. This is going to be fun, you guys. Look at her belly. Mommy's her belly's getting uh, bigger. Oh, she's yeah, pregnant. Yeah. Mm. Dagna. So happy. So Dina? happy. Dirly Dagna. Lord Glee. Mm -hmm. Lars Zazzy. Buy a stuffed Sneak. animal. Hey, if you want to buy a stuffed animal, let's get one. We're about to have a kid anyway, so why not buy one here? I think they're all 50 simoleons. Yes, they're all 50 simoleons. So we're going to go ahead and buy one here. improve his athletic skill look at them oh they're being flirty and now alexander thinks scarlet is being very alluring okay cool let's chill let's go on a date here where should they go oh my god it's already sunset holy crap this day went by really 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 fast um let's see here hmm where shall we go this is hard, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, We could always go to the university bar and grill. That's a possibility. Also, let's go eat here with dates. So we're going to eat. Oh, God, that's expensive. Er, 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 er. Is it cheaper outside? No. Oh, my God, you guys. The money, the money, the money, the money. <sighs> we need money. We are poor. We are dirt poor. Um, eat with date. Mm, that's a lot of money. <gasps> I don't know if I'm willing to put forth that much money. Is there a diner that we can go to? There has to be some sort of diner we can go to. Let's keep looking. There's gotta be one somewhere. Perhaps we can see a movie? Yes, let's see a movie with date. Let's go see, um, um, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. <gasps> Hippo Wrestler. Ooh, let's go see that. And it is cheap. So I think we're just going to go see a movie. And then we're going to, you know, butter her up and do all that lovey-dovey stuff. And call it a night. A cheap date is what I'm calling it. We're going to go ahead and get in the car here. They want to go see a movie. So let's go ahead and... 1,750, 400, 300. Mm, here. I'm gonna both go see a movie. Let's put this on speed two. That bridge is really long. Holy crap. Okay, here we are. We are at the cinema. Where are ya? Where are ya? Oh, that's right. She's pregnant. I'm like, why aren't you running? She's wobbling because she's pregnant. That's right. I completely forgot. Holy crap. Okay, they're gonna go inside here and see a movie. Let's put this on speed three while they watch their movie. So right now he's entertained, he's fulfilled, fendishly delighted, and pumped. She's, of course, pregnant, having a blast, and she is fulfilled as well. Okay, awesome. So their wish is required. Uh, they met their uh, their little happiness wish. Uh, go ahead and compliment appearance. Um, you can flirt. Uh, flirtatious choke. Here the moment kiss. See, I'm telling you guys it's late. It's late at night slash early in the morning. I cannot speak words. My brain cannot process information this late. Take romantic photo. Uh, shy kiss. And then we can go ahead and... Can we kiss goodbye? How do you kiss goodbye? I guess we can't. I guess we're just gonna have to ask the leave date. Oh, so here we go. They uh, saw a great comedy movie. Some films strike the perfect balance of great dialogue, engaging characters, and gripping plots. Alexander is in cinematic ecstasy. From show at theater, plus 10 mood for four hours. This is awesome. This is awesome. You've got my number right. I'll look forward to hearing from you. Okay, it was a good date. It was a good date. Oh, now you want to go on a date with Scarlett. Now you want to go on a date with Scarlett? No, really? 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 Oh my god, I'm done. Okay. He can head home. Um, 
yeah, they both really need to head home. But what I'm going to have her do, actually, I'm not going to have her head home right away. I'm going to have her head to, if I can find it. Is this, is this it? No, that's not it. Let me find it on my own, you guys. I can find it on my own. Um, Can I find it on my own? Here it is. Go to the spa, and I want you to go ahead. What does she want to do? She wants to get a massage. Let's go get a cheap massage. You guys, we are spending all our money. I feel bad, but hey, we're getting wishes, and that means one step closer to getting our inheritance. So it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So she's going to head to the spa and get a massage while Alexander is actually ahead of her. As you can see, he just passed, and she's driving down right now. <laughs> He's heading home. Okay, he's home here. Uh, we're going to have him. It's 11 at night. Hmm. We're going to have him come over here, and he can have some dinner. Go ahead and make some... Er, save money. Go ahead and have some mac and cheese, since we must have uh, food for that in our fridge. Yeah, we have plenty of cheese. <gasps> oh my god, the baby is coming. Holy shit. The baby's coming, the baby's coming, the baby's coming, the baby's coming. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Take to the hospital. Stop cooking. Meet up. The baby's coming. Make sure Scarlet is at home or in the hospital so she can have a safe and comfortable birth. Oh my god. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Why are you walking? Oh, I was I thought he was really gonna walk all the way across the whole bridge into the city But he walked just into town to take the taxi. So that wasn't half as bad. But anyways, they're heading to the hospital Oh my god, I already have the names picked out you guys pick the names in the comment section of my last part Someone left names and if it's a girl her name is going to be Maya M-A-Y-A -A, and if it's a boy his name is going to be Cameron So we're gonna go ahead and see here Let's go ahead and uh Put this on speed three. Speed four. So that when they get out, it'll stop. <gasps> it is a girl. Scarlett's pregnancy went well, and she and the baby made it through smoothly. The baby has been born with a brave trait, and you will get to choose her second trait. What would you like to name her? We're going to name her Maya. M-A-Y-A. -A. Since she is brave. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I want to make her. I don't know you guys. This is a hard one. Hard one, hard one. Hmm. She could be a genius. We could have her be a genius. Hmm. I don't want her to be a loner. Oh, it's sad. Hmm. I guess we can just choose, you know, another trait until we figure out what we want to do. So I'm just going to choose Loves the Cold. Actually, I'm not going to choose Loves the Cold. I think I'm going to choose Virtuoso. We're going to have her, you know, um, be musically inclined. Which is awesome. And, oh, there, there goes another one. 5,000, 5,000. That's 10,000. So that puts us another step closer. 50. There we go. Get married. And does she have the wish yet? There's Maya. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, you guys. Oh, I'm like freaking out. It's so cute. Is he, is he, he's meeting up. All right, come on, let's go. Meet up. Oh, is that where we're going to go? Drive home at over here. She's just taking her time. Look at her. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're heading home. We've got to drive all the way through downtown. We've got to drive all the way across the huge bridge. I love this town. It's beautiful, you guys. I hope you guys like it as well. Let me know if you guys like this town. Oh my gosh, 13 vehicles have been removed. Okie dokie. And judging by my smart moves at the beginning of the part of deleting that park lot that was set as a festival lot, um, none of those little uh, merchants came up as unroutable anymore so hopefully i fixed it you guys let's let's hope um she can go ahead here um you can go ahead and snuggle maya you can play with snuggle and play with 
She's so cute. Little Maya. Oh, her favorite music is geek rock. She likes hot dogs and her favorite color is gray. And she's an Aries, you guys. She's so cute. She's so cute. But we have no money. We have no money at all. Go ahead and do that. And then you're hungry. So just serve up some. Oh, we never finished making that. Wow. Clean up. Everybody do you share? <laughs> All right, go finish making your food because you didn't even finish. Finish making your mac and cheese. And Scarlet's playing with little Maya. Little Maya, she's so cute. <laughs> so cute, little Maya. <laughs> Aww. I love her. She's so pretty. Go ahead and come over here and shower, and then you can head to bed. You're not too hungry, so that can always wait. Plus, it is 4 o'clock in the morning. Mm. Alright, let's see here. He's going to go ahead and eat up his uh, macaroni and cheese. You better clean that up when you're finished. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Oh, Leisure Day is here. Enjoy the warm weather and take a dive into a pool or just take a stroll around the summer festival. Leisure Day is a day where you can take a break from work or school and relax. Awesome. All right, I want you to go ahead and come over here and clean, shower, uh, use the restroom and clean. And then, of course, you can head to sleep. So let's do that. Put this on speed three here. Go ahead and shower. Go ahead and use the restroom. Clean the toilet. Oh, he broke it. He broke it. He broke it. He broke it. And we don't really have the money for that right now. So you're gonna... Oh, God. And he can't unclog it. Mm, you guys. You guys. I'm irritated. I'm irritated. Do we have to sell something? Are we forced to sell something? They don't even use this sink. Should we just get rid of it? I feel like we should just get rid of it because they're not gonna even use it. Or if we get another one, then we gotta... You know what? Let's just get rid of it because they're not even using it. We can always buy it back later just for show. Go ahead and call the repairman because that's really going to bother me. That's seriously going to bother me. And then, of course, you can head to bed when you're finished. Car a repair technician. There you go. All right, guys. I'm going to end this part right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites. And I'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys so much. Bye.